नेक्स्ट इज पिंक स्टेम बोरर सो पिंक स्टेम बोरर साइंटिफिक नेम इज सेसमिया इन्फ्रेंस फैमिली इज नॉक्टे एंड ऑर्डर इज अगेन लेपिडोप्टेरा सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट यू नीड टू मेमराइज द साइंटिफिक नेम फैमिली एंड ऑर्डर टॉकिंग अबाउट द होस्ट रेंज इट विल बेसिकली इफेक्ट द सोरगम मेज राइस वीट शुगर कैन बाजरा एंड रागी सो दिस इज पिंक स्टेम बोरर सो वट Typical symptoms are basically it is in pink in color and but it will do basically it will bore in the stem and it will lead to the production of dead heart symptoms. So let's read it out. Pink larva enters into the stem causing the dead heart symptoms similar to that of the stem borer, right? So what it will do basically the larva is of generally pink color and what it will do basically it will bore into the stem and will lead to the dead heart symptoms. Next is moth. We will moth is basically adult. So moth is medium sized. Stoutly built, having straw-colored forewings. So this is important that the forewings or the front wings are of straw color. That will have basically dark brown longitudinal streaks in the middle of the wings, and hind wings are of white color. So adult moth has straw-colored forewings that have basically streaks of dark brown color, and basically hind wings or the rear wings or the back wings are of whitish color. Right. So this is adult. Fore wing is of straw color, right? And hind wing is of white color. And this also has streaks of brown color, right? Next is for management purpose. What we can do basically, we can use the resistant varieties that is Deccan 101 and Deccan 103. So this is most important varieties you need to memorize. So the resistant cultivars are Deccan 103 and 101. And what else we can do basically? We can spray the endosulfan. So this is common spray. This is most common chemical method that we can use for the that we can adopt for the. control right